Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero! And this week, the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of sound. Just imagine all of the cool things that I could do with the power of sound. I could make mm, baddies tremble with my booming voice. Stop in the name of Nana Gill! Of course, if I want to have sound powers, I need to understand how sound works first. Do you hear what I'm saying? And if you can hear what I'm saying, it's because of these amazing things on the side of your head. That's right, your ears. But why are they on the side of our heads? And why do different animals have them in different places? And do all ears work in the same way? Huh, let's work it out with some animal ears of our own. For this, you are gonna need a sheet of paper, tape, a rubber band, a ruler, a sheet of thin card, some thin plastic, something small like pepper, colouring pencils, scissors and a speaker. First, take the paper and fold it in half lengthways to make two long rectangles. Now you're going to cut down that line. You're going to take one of those rectangles and you're going to fold it again in half in the same direction and then you're going to cut again. That's going to give you two thin strips. Now this is going to be your ear attachment device. Basically you're making a headband. Take some tape and you're going to take these two rectangles together so they make one long rectangle. And then I'm going to measure my head. Now everybody's head is going to be a different size. So don't worry if yours is bigger than other people's. What you're going to do is you're going to measure what your head width is by wrapping it around, figuring it out, and then taping the ends together on the other side. You don't want it to be too big because it will fall down. You don't want it to be too tight because it will hurt your head. Okay, so now we have our circle. This is what we're going to attach our ears to. Now we have to make our ears. Take the other sheet of paper that you had left over, fold it in half, and then you get to make your own design. So. I think I'm going to make pointy ears like a cat, but you might want to do big round ears like a mouse or droopy ears like an elephant. So I'm just going to make a triangle shape here and then I'm going to have a little ear hole here like this and I'm going to colour those in. So I think I'm going to have purple on the inside, oh I think I'll do pink in the middle and maybe red or blue on the outside. Okay, here we go, all coloured in. You can see my little ears here. Now I need to stick them to my headband. So I'm going to take a little bit of tape. And here's the interesting thing. We need to decide where on our head they're going to go. Because these are going to be our superhero ears. Now we know that our human ears are on the side of our head. But animal ears, well, cats have them on the front. But elephants have them hanging down on the side. So decide where your superhero ears are going to be. I think mine are going to be on the back like a cat. So we're going to tape those down. Okay, ears are on. These are my cat-like superhero ears. Ta-da! I might keep wearing those because those are quite fun. Okay, so our human ears are shaped on the outside to pick up sound and follow them into our ear holes. The same with cat ears. You can see that there's a hole in the middle. That's where the sound goes and our ears are big so they can funnel that sound in. Now inside our ears you're going to find a long narrow tube and we call that the ear canal. And at the end of that inside our heads is something called an eardrum and that's what we use to hear with. Now our eardrums are very sensitive to vibrations, which are basically wobbles in the air. Did you know that sound is actually just vibration? Let me show you. If I hit these two things together, scissors and my glass, did you hear that? You can hear that because what it does is as they hit each other, they create vibrations and the air vibrates and then the air around that vibrates and they pass on that vibration until it gets into our ears and our eardrums vibrate. The more our eardrum vibrates, the louder the sound! You know when you're sick or have allergies and you have blocked up ears and you can't hear very well? Well that blocking up is because your body makes lots of extra ugh, earwax, disgusting! And all that earwax gets in the way of the vibrations. Here, let's show you. I'm going to take some card and I'm going to wrap it around my speaker here. So I'm going to wrap it around and tape it. This is basically going to be like our ear canal. So 
So I'm going to tape that. Okay, now we need to make an eardrum. I'm going to take a little bit of leftover plastic here. You can use some food wrap or anything that can create a little bit of movement. We're going to wrap it over there. And now we've made basically what our eardrum is like, which is going to bounce up and down when it feels the vibrations. So when you're not sick, you can hear things really well. If you tap this, you should be able to hear the sound. Now when you are sick, you probably have stuffed ears with earwax. I'm going to put some tissues in there to block it. And if you hear now, you'll hear that it's really muffled. That's what happens when you have blocked ears. Okay, now what we need to do is talk about these vibrations. So I'm going to put a speaker inside here. And we're going to make a sound and hopefully you're going to be able to see how your eardrum works. Okay, so what we're going to do is turn the music on here. And what you saw if I sprinkled this little bit of pepper or tiny things on there is that they were dancing. And that's what happens inside our ears. As the sound comes in, basically our little eardrums vibrate and they tell our brain that there is sound. The bigger the sound, the more they vibrate and the louder our brain tells us the music is. So that's it, that's how our ears work. We've got the outside of our ears that funnel the sound in and we've got our eardrums on the inside that help us to interpret that sound. Now, I'm going to need some help from my petite little pal, Nano Nano Girl. She is down here. Hold on. Wait, what was that? Oh, really? Nano Girl, you don't feel like being a superhero today? You just want to dance? Okay, well, fair enough, I suppose. I'm going to put her on here. We're going to have a little bit of a stress release. And you know what? When you're small enough to dance on the eardrum we made, life is good. All right, let's party! <laughs> Oh no, she fell off. Um, might need to work on that. We'll get to superhero science tomorrow with a different experiment. For the meantime, I think uh, I'm gonna keep dancing. I'm gonna take Nano Nano Girl with me. See you later.